Hey, when overcoming mold illness, you not only have to detox through frequent bowel movements, but you also have to clean your lymphatic system. Your body's sewer system, or your lymphatic system, becomes um, congested. And this can even lead to inflammation and disease. It's often the case in mold illness. Your sewer system gets clogged up with mold mycotoxins that your cells are trying to get rid of. And then your whole body begins to dysfunction. In a previous um, video, we discussed how when your colon is not open and working well, then other um, organs and your lymphatic system won't be able to drain right either. After all, when functioning properly, your lymph drains right into your colon and out, for, out as waste. So if your lymphatic system isn't working like it should, your skin, kidneys, and lungs will attempt to pick up the slack, and they work overtime. You may develop um, symptoms such as rashes, respiratory disease, and possible damage to your kidneys and liver. Essentially, when your lymph is not flowing well, your um, cells become poisoned from their own waste. Your lymph fluid becomes an even more toxic dumping ground, resulting in fatigue, swelling, infection, inflammation, and disease. This is why you must keep your lymph moving to um, become well and to stay well. While your, lim your circulatory system has a pump, your heart, your lymphatic system doesn't. That, but that's okay because you were fearfully and wonderfully made. And you can take action to clean your, your lymph system so that your body will function like it was made to. Number one, get upside down. An inversion table is a padded table that allows you to earn invert upside down and while well strapped in by your feet. This decompresses your joints and stimulates your lymphatic circu and circulatory system. Number two is lymph helping diet. There are herbal teas that help lymphatic action such as red clover, mullein, golden seal, ginger, sarsaparilla, which also binds endotoxins, um, golden seal, cleavers, and um, uh, olive leaf tea. Try to incorporate one of these teas or a blend into your daily routine. Teas are most effective if you drink several cups over the course of the day. Plenty of fresh produce and other minimally processed healthy foods also help maintain a strong gut um, blood barrier, which prevents toxins and food irritants from leaking into the bloodstream or your leaky gut syndrome. These foods will lower your inflammation and the um, invasion of toxins that will otherwise clog up your lymphatic system. Three, get a lymph massage. Lymphatic massage re reduces swelling. It helps detoxify your body and helps speed up regeneration of your tissues and cells. You can, all, you can go for a whole body massage or focus on targeted areas, for example, Backed up lymphatic fluid in your head can contribute to head congestion, pressure in your head or ears, sinus congestion, vertigo, um, dizziness, or even insomnia. Four, dry skin brushing. Dry skin brushing promotes lymphatic drainage of your lymphatic of your toxic waste, and um, by helping to, it to move. Start a habit of dry skin brushing a few minutes before your shower or bath, um, or bath using an inexpensive natural bristle brush and start at your extremities and brush toward your heart. Five, alternate hot and cold in the shower. Lymphatic vessels contract and ex uh, when exposed to mold and dilate in response to heat and um, Hot and cold showers is a type of hydrotherapy that uses the properties of water temperature and pressure to move stagnant lymphatic fluid. This will increase your circulation while boosting your immune function and metabolism. After dry skin brushing, supercharge your morning shower by alternating hot and cold between 90 seconds and several minutes. To sh um, be sure to always end with cold water. Six, <laughs> movement of your body. Do yoga, walk, stretch, bounce on a rebounder or exercise ball or jog, whatever gets your body moving without stressing it. 
seven. Deep breathing contracts your muscles and helps move your lymphatic fluid. Plus, the mindfulness of deep breathing makes it one of the best ways to manage stress, one of the biggest factors in lymph congestion. If you um, take many timeouts throughout your day, close your eyes and take five to ten deep belly breaths. When you inhale, simply, simply allow your belly to um, fully expand out like a balloon and then slowly exhale as much as you can. So eight, infrared sauna. Infrared saunas provide gentle, side effect free, um, powerful tool for detoxification. Infrared waves penetrate deep into the body and um, elevating your body's surface temperature and activating circulation. Um, sweating and evacuation of toxins from your lymph and blood flu through your skin. The heat also increases your heart rate and encourages deeper breathing, which boosts the drainage process even further. Nine, <laughs> loose fitting clothing, especially while you sleep. Tight fitting clothing can contribute to a lot of problems, including restricted lymph flow. Wear comfortable clothes made from natural fibers such as cotton, silk, linen, wool, and other natural fibers. Otherwise, your um, skin absorbs the chemicals in the synthetic clothing and taking those into your lymphatic system. And that adds to your toxic burden. 10. Hydration. <laughs> Hydration daily with water is the most important because lymph becomes thicker and less able to move when you are dehydrated, but flows well when you're hydrated. Remember, you can dehydrate yourself by drinking too much water too. Drink half of your body weight in ounces of water, dispersed throughout the day, every day. Drink more if you're sweating. So in conclusion, you can clean your lymphatic system in many ways. Try any or all of these ways because your lymphatic system is especially important as you rid your body of the mold mycotoxins. And this is the first phase of starting to feel like yourself. I'll see you next week.